really needs to to get herself up to that late game carry potential. It looks like Hecarim might be coming down here for something, trying to make something happen, with no words up yet. Here he does come Hecarim, he does dash in and does it is it able to do a whole lot. The zap does land onto Caitlyn though. And there comes the exhaust down on the Jinx, they're gonna try to chase it down, but meanwhile in the mid lane, here comes the teleport in actually from the mid lane. Mega Nar is coming in, no Nar is coming in. He does bounce, the flash is, is gonna be forced, but it's gonna be first blood as Nar comes down on a teleport roam and takes down a Mumu right off the bat. Jinx trying to flash in again here on the back line, but there comes there comes Hecarim dashing himself in again as well. And there comes there's a kill actually as he as Hecarim is able to clean up Jinx who decides to try to flash back in for the extra damage. Just couldn't do it, and that's two quick kills here for the blue team early on. There. Not exactly Remember? something I would do. Oh, here comes here comes Mumu. He does not land the bandage house onto Nar. Neither one. Uh, Nar is going to be level six. He could have Mega you know, He does hit it. Does hit the stun as well. Jinx is meanwhile on the bottom lane. Jinx is going to go down real low. It is going to get taken down, and uh, Nar is going to pick up Mumu in the top lane. Caitlyn trying to do what she can does get taken down. Aurelia does end up taking down Nar, and Zed makes the run from the mid lane. Flashes in, picks up a double kill. Could be chasing out for that triple kill if he wants it. Decides against it. It is a three for two swing across the map. But if he, sh if Nar is able to finish his Sunfire Cape before she's able to finish that Triforce, one of the most. Caitlyn does. Oh, the flame traps do land. The ultimate comes out from Janet, but she does get she does get taken down and hit. That's going to be a kill for Caitlyn using that long range. With uh, just kind of shrugs it off, but a, a nice gank coming in from from Hecarim. Now here comes Zed running that from the mid lane. Oriana sitting in the tri brush as well. This could be another three v three fight. Amumu sitting in the in the oh there comes the dead oh wow. death mark does land. Not going to do enough damage. So the the heal does come out. And it's going to back away. Uh, ultimate for ultimate and a heal burned as well. If they get the if they get the lane pushed up to their side, they're trying to bait it out. Here comes Hecarim as well. Zed is roaming down from the mid lane, but it could be too late. Caitlyn trying to bait it out. Could end up going down. Bronze ultimate goes down. Here comes Oriana. She doesn't not land the shockwave. Shockwave does miss. Hecarim comes diving in. Zed now comes diving in. The exhaust goes down as well. He's not going to be able to get Caitlyn in the back line. Caitlyn actually will pick up the shutdown kill on Zed. And a nice play. Zed got exhausted early. Hold on, in the top lane though. Nar continuing to go in on the on the Aurelia. All that percent damage is doing so much. And then comes the Nar ultimate. He does pick up the kill. It's his boomerang to go back and slow him to keep him from taking any more damage. Caitlyn using that using that range does flash in, does hit the Q. There comes the ultimate lead, which is not going too well for her. Oh. Rob tries to chase down the Mumu, just backs him away. Take, trying to take the scuttle crab from himself. Caitlyn comes around the top side. Uh, unusual spot for Caitlyn to come from. The ultimate will hit. Uh, the shield from Janna is going to help stop it. But there's a there's a good kill from Oriana. She does pick up her first kill. And meanwhile, Brom picks up another kill. Caitlyn will end up going down to the ultimate from Mumu. He flashes over the wall. Tower down and could turn on this Aurelia if he wants to. Does land the second shot. Does hit the third. So he's got the speed up. And that percentage damage is doing so much work. Here comes Zed though. Does land the death mark on Anar. Anar will have the Mega Nar available in just a second. Does land. This is done. The death mark will not will not hit, but Aurelia is going to come in. She could pick up the kill. Oh, the Nar. Mega Nar will end up picking up the kill. Nar doing what he can to get away. Does land the stun. Here comes Hector as well. And the kill from Oriana as coming in on the top lane. Doing what they can. Chasing down here in the mid lane. And Nar. Knowing the limits of his champion to stay alive that long, waiting for his teammates in Hecarim with a timely ultimate, and that is actually going to be a, a 20 minute surrender. Wow, red team, red team surrenders the game within 20 minutes. That's going to be team two moving on uh, to face team five in the semifinals. And I mean, 14 to six, you they were uh, you know. Close to 10,000 gold down 20 minutes in. It would have been a rough fight back for the red team, but they decide against it and they go with the, the uh, early surrender.